Sagittarius. Hi Sag, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with your February 2024 reading, finally. Why does the screen look like that? Hold on. There we go. So I feel like something needs to be cleaned up, okay? I don't know. It's like that how it resonates. Um, maybe you need to clean your glasses, clean your car, clean your home, clean your windows. Um, something about a clear reflection, clean your mirrors. Um, I hear it's time to dust. It's yeah, spring cleaning energy is coming through, but I'm getting um, the final winter clean as well. Take that how it resonates, but let's say a prayer. Let's get into it. God, divine source, angels, ancestors, guys, universe. Thank you for allowing me to guide Sagittarius. Thank you for allowing me to guide Sagittarius placements on their February 2024 reading. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel, clear vessel, clear guide as I speak to them and what to expect throughout this month and as it unfolds. Um, now please bless each and every heart and soul that taps into this energy with me. Allow us all to be divinely guided and divinely led. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Gratitude, Ashe. There's a lot of <clears throat> enlightenment and awareness coming through for you in February. Like throughout the prayer, um, you're nervous about something. Um, your energy is very, very loud. What's unspoken is, is very, very loud versus what is spoken. <clears throat> throat chakra you could be having trouble communicating or when you are communicating people aren't really um understanding or comprehending what it is that you're saying so nothing is really getting resolved um it could be the form of communication the way that you're communicating maybe you thinking you're it's kind of like you know you think that you're changing your communication style but yet your communication style is the same all across the board um things of that nature something has you extremely nervous also you could be sick okay like body chills shit flu symptoms type energy c19 is coming through also something could have been delayed since capricorn season i say that because i just have you and capricorn to do and i have um intended on doing the rest of the signs today but um you are the last sign i'm doing today Cal uh, california california could be significant but tomorrow i'm doing capricorn um something about california and capricorn season could be significant as well i don't know but the information that's coming to you is coming to you really really fast i feel like i'm speaking really really fast to try to make sure i relay everything that i'm getting to you um but i do feel like there's this need to slow down because the body is starting to attack itself in some way okay <sighs> take a deep breath <coughs> shit some of you could be sensibly smoking you could probably be smoking and choking right now okay i do have the incense going but um you're gonna be doing a lot of smoking out <laughs> outside <coughs> shit outside are just issues with the lungs but again the body the body um i hear lsg body god bless congestion though yeah i don't know it feels like chills and shit i don't know i don't like how this feels <sighs> yeah <coughs> you could be what's going on with your lungs bro you need more you need real local you need raw local honey that's what i'm trying to say so nine of pentacles virgo energy health page of wands information coming in i feel like this information is more so disappointing fan off oh. <sighs> yeah I feel like something needs to if if not stop transform why do I keep coughing <coughs> in your reading <coughs> some of you are really sick I just start coughing you will not see me coughing in any of the signs I recorded today if you watch them all right let's get into it Sagittarius some of you have really been struggling with something in silence since Capricorn season health-wise as well. I'm getting for some of you. Or some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn and hiding something from them in regards to health or vice versa. Uh, 444 could be significant as well. I'm not taking all these cards. I did cleanse and reset these cards, but hold on. Put them over the incense and reshuffle. 
Yeah, I'm getting this energy as well of instead of trying to just figure things out, you just need to clean up. I'm being drawn back to that dust to dust bunnies. Some of you, if you're struggling with respiratory issues, check your ceiling fans for dust or just the fan. Some of you, if you sleep with the fan, that fan is toxic as fuck. Yeah, eight of swords. All right, so here we go. Yeah, there's a um, an energetic reset coming. I feel like this is happening in Pisces season and the High Priestess came out, Pisces energy. Um, it is words. So um, today is February 13th. It's like four. What time is it? I don't know if I have any of the phones near me. Yeah, I don't have any of the phones near me. They're all over there. So you could feel like you need to go through some type of like technology disconnect um, or something. But you may be uh, taking, you know, a break from social media in Pisces season. But and if you do this, um, this is contributing to, um, you know, higher insight and more enlightenment to towards whatever you're currently experiencing in life. The crescent moon is significant as well. Some of you could have been born under a waning crescent or waxing crescent moon. But with Eight of Swords in reverse, you're coming out of restriction in regards to something. You may have been denying yourself or restricting yourself from something or denying a gift that you have. I hear something is scary as hell, but it, it's really loud in the darkness. I do feel like downloads are coming to you in the darkness as well. I've, I've um, recorded all of these readings with my light off. The only light one is the, is the natural light and the ring light, but my ceiling fan light has been off. Um... Two of Pentacles in reverse, clarify. I feel like your intuition is nudging you towards some type of information that can assist you with setting yourself free, but you're denying the information and you're denying your intuition as well. Um, and this is in regards to manifesting and alchemizing something. For some of you, this is a partnership. For some of you, this is a new home. For some of you, this is a new job. But it's some type of commitment that you're wanting to thrust yourself into. But you're very, very stressed um, and worried about how to execute this. And with the King of Pentacles, it's more so instead of you focusing on your dreams, you're focusing on what it cost for your dreams to come true which is preventing you from actually living your dreams yes yeah, two of swords in reverse clarity praise god so in page of cups also information is coming to you throughout people that you love um this could be mentors sisters brothers friends but people that you respect with this page of cups you know with the other signs is becoming up as issues within the family but for you and with this message i'm getting you know people that you really love people that you consider family whether bloodline or non-bloodline related they're really enlightening you with this hierophant this is definitely someone that you look look up to on removing they're assisting you on removing the restriction energy that you are um or have already done this provided this information you just didn't take heed but there's there's this there's a sense of um neglect when it comes to an intuitive notion or divine guidance and that's that's something that you need to revisit and it's being highlighted for you yeah justice in reverse and then nine of pentacles and it's more so five of pentacles everybody is worried about financial resources and everyone is afraid to be uncomfortable but it's it's very it's such it's, it's such a contradictive energy because you're already uncomfortable you're already unhappy you're already sad you're already disappointed disappointed and lacking joy <clears throat> in what you're currently involved in so to make a sacrifice and a leap of faith you're you're worried about the same things and it's like why would spirit give you the green light and the open door to move forward just for you to experience the same thing you might as well just stay in your current cycle but that's not your truth but it's the truth that you're trying to claim also a lot of you are trying to do something by yourself when you really need to accept help from trusted people okay you may feel like you know someone doesn't can't pull weight in some type of some type of area but someone has big weight i don't know take that how it resonates it's kind of like sleeping on someone's capability this is yourself or this is someone that's saying you know i can help you and you're like i don't think so and you're you're looking at things from a surface level this is why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover you don't you don't know someone else's gifts and how they're connected and how spirit works with them so who who are you to to you know deny that Whew. all right <clears throat> yeah 
<clears throat> this is the ego death and being right versus being wrong like you don't have to be right all the time it's kind of like when you're wrong like it feels like you have you just got your ass flipped i don't know yeah radical acceptance in reverse this is involving the ego heavy <clears throat> you have hard home compassion there's drama within the home environment and this is bringing in a change is coming okay i really do feel like this is um uh, you have 30 here so the month of march could be significant the first through the 30th um yeah because you have two in reverse which goes back to the one so march 1st through the 30th i mentioned that to someone else as well this is very interesting so you have radical acceptance in reverse um i hear dearly beloved we are gathered here this the wedding vows keep coming up and I just came across some information that the wedding vows have changed, but I can't find it. If you can find the updated 2024 wedding vows, please leave it in the comment section or email me. But you have radical acceptance in reverse, heart home compassion in reverse. So I do feel like there's this sense of harshness that you may be projecting. Or no, there could be a Virgo projecting this because I almost said a Virgo smoke alarm. I'm getting someone doesn't want to accept that a home environment has been dismantled. I just got a sharp pain in my left side. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you know, I hear my mind telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. Like the, like you, that they can feel the change, but their mind is like, no, this can't be true. Their mind isn't accepting the change that's happening, herald of change. And this is something within the home life or something that feels like home. This could be a work environment. Um, you could like clean home, something like that. But something that was once, you know, loving and compassionate, it's like it's hard to accept that that's not really the truth of the matter. And with spiritual narcolepsy, falling angel being in reverse, this is extremely positive. This is, you know, knowing that sometimes things are shown to ignite change. This is more so things you, you, you understand that things are happening for you and not against you and someone else. And I think it was Virgo had the opposite energy. So I don't know what the fuck is going on Sag between you and Virgo, but yeah. And then you have on the bottom crown games, right use of power. So spirit, yeah, this is spirit is very, very proud of you in regards to how you're handling something um or how you are accepting something but this is like a 50 50 as well it's split down the middle because you have it's like i'm i feel like i'm speaking to high vibrational sagittarius as well as low vibrational sagittarius who are who are just now starting you know the path of spirituality and, and enlightenment and it's like the acceptance that comes with this radical a force of change with choosing a new direction in life this means you know everything that you know of dismantling and it's kind of it's being you know if, hearing seeing and recognizing the truth but being unable to actually accept it like i don't know there's a denial here um there's something about respect coming up as well with this crown games and right use of power I hear you need to put some respect on my name, Birdman. But then, you know, something about someone's character. Someone wants respect, but their character doesn't honor the energy of respect. So that's very, this is interesting. What is this? Yeah, Welling Tree, Reconciliations. And then Deep Diver in Reverse, Diving into a Task. So someone wants the rewards without doing the work. Is it you? For some of you, it's someone that you are involved with romantically. Yeah, there's a cycle that you're holding on to. Virgo energy, the hermit. Some of you could have Venus in Virgo, you don't have to, or you just have a major Virgo placement, or you're dealing with someone that has a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Virgo. Someone could have a Virgo Mercury as well, because there is an issue with communication here. I know I mentioned that earlier, but 
it's coming it's it's lingering up in this someone isn't receiving something the way that it should be received and the ace of pentacles is kind of like at this point it, it's tiring um it's energetically draining and you want to end the cycle but there's it's like well what's on the other side because i've known this for so long so my eyes are being drawn back to this crown games right use of power so so you have to be mindful of what you're giving your power energy to is it the is it the same cycle that you're just you know praying and hoping and wishing for a change or are you giving your your power to brand new cycles with this ace of pentacles are you giving your energy to the past the present or the future and i feel like some of you are too stuck in the past some of you are too stuck in the future and you're not present but everything is blossoming in the present moment if you allow yourself to see it i hear the growth is happening in spurts yeah <laughs> the empress and the four of swords so someone's having nightmares about you or you're having nightmares about someone um there's truths being exposed in dreams especially in pisces season and it's a definitely a what the fuck moment <laughs> yes judgment came out it's definitely a what the fuck moment and you know sometimes in dreams the people places and like the people specifically aren't literal is it's meant to represent the archetype but i feel like these people are literal you need to pay attention to the literal people pisces the the illusions because everything is direct in february you can believe what's shown to you okay mm -hmm. yeah five of cups this is heartbreaking but the shit that people are keeping from you i hear pandora's box is opening damn yeah, the Hierophant, when Pandora box opens, for some of you, it's already started to crack open, but it's not fully opened yet. But, oh my God. Yo, Eight of Wands, this is giving me Unleash the Dragon. Yeah, Justice in Reverse, whatever has been unjust will be made right, and Pandora's box is opening. You can bet that. Yes, yes, yes. I hear it's starting with the children. Pay attention to the children. The children are prophesying, which is, is definitely going to be a theme, has been a theme, and will continue to be a theme. Children are, children are always prophesying, but adults be too stuck in their goddamn ego and cry to fucking listen. Yeah, ego. But the ego is definitely vanishing. There's an ego death happening. <sighs> smoke on. Let's smoke on. 17 minutes in this a lot of you an ego death initiated with the leo full moon that we had on january 25th <clears throat> yeah i split the deck to uriel and the sphinx and leo had their january title had the sphinx the spirit of the sphinx i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sagittarius the bird's nest and the king of keys someone in the month the month of march is very 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 transform tra trans transformational for you you're leaving some people behind again pandora's box once it i hear believe what you see i hear believe everything that you hear nothing that you see whatever the fuck <clears throat> I hear your emotions are accurate as well. Hmm. Archangel Raphael, <clears throat> Wednesdays could be significant to you. It rolls Wednesdays. So I have chills right now. Um, okay. All right, so as of right now, you're between coming out of the trenches and, and wishes fulfilled. Because there's a, um, the deck that I'm using right now, there's a card called the Karmic Trench. I see that, and I also see um, wishes fulfilled, right? And with this garden being here and in, in the way it's at a crossroads, that, that's your in between coming out of the trenches and, and wishes fulfilled. However, and I said that several times again, something's repeating here. 
you have two, three, no four, but you have five. So something is definitely unstable. With the bird's nest, I'm getting there's a force of stability. Um, some of you, whether you're feminine or masculine, you're heavily, your masculine energy is very, very loud in the month of February. Um, and com with community in reverse, the reason why your masculine energy is loud is because you're being asked to make some heavy decisions and heavy judgment calls when it comes to the community. With winged messengers in reverse, um, I feel like some of you are asking for divine assistance with this. And I feel like spirit is kind of set sitting this one out right now, at least in the month of February, because winged messengers is the number two. Um, and 222 is here too. Scorpio, Leo energy could be significant. Those are uh, significant numbers for them. But um, I'm also getting January 22nd, reflect back to that date. But with winged messengers, there's something that you are being asked to do. And this causes you to be within your masculine energy. The way I'm holding my Buddha protection, uh, you should <clears throat> work with the color onyx. I'm sorry, the color, the stone onyx, but the color black. If you do wear black, ensure it's for protection. And it's not absorbing negative energy from your environment and your community because black can absorb energy. But with the soon being here, this is like you are heavily protected, okay? With whatever journey, whatever decisions you have to make, whatever you have to, you know, uproot from, whoever you need to disconnect from <clears throat> to, to leave the karmic trench beh behind and to walk towards your wish fulfillment, you are heavily guided and protected with this energy. Archangel Raphael is definitely coming through for you. However, in this in this t certain task, you're being asked to handle this by yourself, okay? No one can assist you, and there's been a lot of solo energy in the readings that have come up today. Yeah, um, but you have the hermit in reverse, so this is, I'm getting coming, you need to come out of the cave, you, you do need to get outside more as well, um, with winged messengers it, it being in reverse, with hermit um, being in reverse underneath it. For a lot of you, you know, how you were once spending more time in nature, connecting to nature, honoring the signs and symbols of nature, and you've kind of gotten away from that due to the chaos of life, and you're being asked to reconnect to that energy. Um, for some of you, you're connecting more with toxic people versus nature right now. It's, yeah, smoke alarm and spirit wants you to change that. Whew, I feel like I'm not breathing in your, your reading, but Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. I hear it's time to go back home but with go back home i don't feel like this is a home that you've lived in in this lifetime but yet you've lived it in you lived wherever this home is you've lived here once before in a past life hold on anything else for sagittarius from this deck yeah we're 22 the number 22 all right this deck was done speaking You also have some new um, guides that are trying to introduce themselves to you that you've been ignoring. Oh. You need to stretch. Your body is tense. All right, let's clean this up. Let's move on. I feel like with what you're seeing within the community, you're very displeased or triggered or agitated or something like that i don't know goblin yeah goblin spell in my lab balancing out some of you you're you're cleansing your following list who you follow who follows you you're blocking people yeah the bone collector you're removing shit okay some of you are realizing that you're a hoarder and you don't know how to let shit go <laughs> that's changing um rescue so you have flying in reverse some of you you uh, i'm hearing short trips could be significant in february or you need to take a short trip um but flying um some of you may be more so comfortable with driving but you're being asked to fly i don't know what the fuck that's about but bone collector in reverse wide open um i'm getting there are um trinkets so like <sighs> Possessions that you have from people that you need to give back to the earth. There's something that you have that's a physical. I don't know if you heard that alarm. 
but something that you have of the physical that you've allowed your energy to be exposed to spirit is asking you to close your energy to this because the energy that it carries is this it's a blockage and it has you moving in the incorrect direction rescue but this is like it's a form of jewelry or something unbreaklet a breaklet so it could be a, a necklace and bracelet set i don't know or if someone gifts you this for valentine's day you need to gift it to the earth yeah magic prayer i'm getting someone enchanted something in the enchantment ghost lands it's to it's to it feels like a trap we are definitely moving into the queen victorian area era area mm, area 51 Pay attention to Area 51. I don't know. Vegas could be significant. I hear Northern California as well. Then I accidentally say California earlier. But coming to life is here and making a choice in reverse. Oh, you're finalizing something. We have 29 days this month and we don't have 30 and 30 is in reverse. So by the last day, you're going to know what this is. And once you remove the energy and give it back to Earth, you're going to feel the vibrational shift with this flying card. It's, yeah, that's that dusting. It's time to cleanse. You need to go through something. Also, if you have animals, ask your animals to help lead you to where it is as well. Action. Stop sleeping on the animals. They understand you. You have enlightenment. Someone doesn't want you to know something. Love. Is this an admirer? Someone's crushing. Someone's crushing on you, or if you have a partner, they're crushing on someone else. You have openness of fulfillment. Some of you don't want love, but love is about to be knocking at your door. <laughs> yeah, opportunity on the bottom. Love is definitely about to be knocking at the door. Stand still in reverse and flow upright is the advice <laughs> yeah you feel like that you feel like love will throw you off your game throw you off focus but for a lot of you you know divine love fuels you and empowers you it makes yeah so have courage it makes your your seeds more fruitful there's a lot of potential here i'm just pulling from the bottom of the deck <clears throat> okay Something about back rubs, massages, eight of wands. And for some of you, yeah, it's like this is what you're experiencing. And, and honey, what's coming to you is is not this sad-ass five of cups. What's coming to you is summer 24-7, 365, okay? Inside and, and outside. Yeah, someone wants to commit to you. And they're just as scared as you are, but smoke alarm. They're going to take a leap of faith. <laughs> Go for love. Lovers. <laughs> Judgment. A decision is being made. Someone has gotten approval. Have they? Yeah, someone has gotten approval from the angels. Okay, they've gotten the ancestors' approval, so they they respect the hierarchy. That's beautiful. Two of Cups in reverse. A lot of you, yeah, enlightenment. You you uh, clarify. You're gonna read. This is. I see you sabotaging a blessing. Openness. Yeah, Queen of Wands fulfillment. You're on defense, Knight of Pentacles. You feel like you're not ready, but Spirit will never give you anything that you're not ready for. You don't trust yourself. That's been a theme today, too. But this is victorious if you don't sabotage it and reject it. I'm not even going to tell you a sign because you need to trust and flow. Yeah, the world stop wanting to know everything and flow like the card said will of fortune in reverse this person will will help you and not hinder you i am getting a libra energy because they're titled asset versus liability but you could be viewing someone as a liability that's actually an asset too 
This could be someone trying to court you and you're like, no. I hear they're nervous. <laughs> they're nervous as fuck. And they're asking for guidance on how to break through to you. Look, four of cups asking for guidance. Spirit, what, what do I need to do to break through to Sagittarius? Okay. Or this is you. Let's take it how it resonates. Six of pentacles. But someone has been planning to approach you for quite some time. They're tired of waiting through your swords. But they also see you hurting. I hear a um, favorite song in my mind. Tired of the hurt, tired of the pain. Yeah, the tower in reverse. Someone's tired and they'd rather just be alone than be hurt. And this could be you or this is someone else. And especially this is someone that you're trying to court. But patience is needed in this as well. I hear heal together. I know you're tired of hurt, tired of the pain. I keep hearing that part in my mind. Yeah, five of wands. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to get married. We're going to go here. We're going to travel here. We're going to have such fulfillment, you know, just, just thug it with me, rock with me. And then it's just conflict, drama. Honey, you're left alone, okay? There's a waste of investment, but nothing is truly a waste. It's a lesson. The magician, you end up having to alchemize on your own you know dreams that you created with someone else you have to do on your own you have to travel alone but i don't know some of you there was a couple trip and a breakup and and honey take that fucking trip solo i think that was in a movie too i don't recall but yeah for some of you stop there's this thing of staying together for the kids that's ending soon worldwide yeah that shit is coming to an end God really doesn't like that because it creates a negative toxic cycle versus a healthy cycle. It continues generational trauma on its own. Yeah. But seven of pentacles, ace of wands in reverse. Um, for some of you, you're waiting on an investment to pay off to initiate a new beginning. Queen of wands. I hear what the hell are you waiting for? I hear time keeps moving. So you need to too. Yeah. Eight of Cups in reverse. But yeah, there's hesitation here. Mm -hmm. You just feel like you're not ready, but you have 888. Eight, eight. eight of Cups in reverse. This is, this, you need, baby, you need to take action. I hear you have eight weeks. Clarify. Not eight months, you have eight weeks. Four of Wands, you have eight weeks. Clarified um, Sagittarius taking action. The Magician. The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. The Star, your dreams, instead of them just being out in the ethers flowing, they're in your reality. <sighs> Eight weeks, Sagittarius. Success. I need to fuck the phone. <sighs> Some of you are going to the gun range. I just looked at it. Never mind. But Seven of Pentacles, something is growing. It's kind of like once you stop paying attention to something, that's when it just sprouts. Yeah. You're really worried about abundance. And it's like worrying about abundance, worry about, worrying about yeah, your security, how things are going to work. That's re worrying is repelling and not inviting. Yeah, like abundance and pleasure doesn't want to live in the energy of worry. So we clean that up. Yeah. And understand that a simple lifestyle is a thriving lifestyle. Think about a billionaire. They don't care about Jordan's release date. They don't care about having, yeah. You need to purge. Purge has been a theme. Uh, I feel like more purge laws are about to come into effect as well. Let's look at the moons real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Shit. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh my, okay, it's over there. Oh my god. Is there an earthquake happening? A shakeup is coming? What the fuck? Oh, that was the water bottle that fell. <laughs> 
That was wild. Hold on. Let's see what the fuck that's about. What? What just happened? What just happened? Choices and their consequences. Uh, I'm freezing. Forgiveness in reverse. Oh, there's a shakeup coming. So I hear someone that you don't fuck with is coming back. I hear blast from the past. Yeah, benefactor, grace, and generosity. Three, the month of March. March 9th could be significant. Could be seeing the time 309 a lot. Or just the numbers 309, the arrest and renewal. There's a shakeup coming. But the universe has you. The universe is your partner, upright and inspiration. So this is a good shakeup. It's going to scare the shit out of you, but it's positive. Please clarify. Clarify. Thanks. The muse in the sands of time. 6-6. Six, six. Everything is going to work out for you, Sag. With the muse being here. Um, the sands of time, again, you've been waiting on something to pay off, especially if you're like a business owner. I don't know. The number six could be significant. June could be significant. 15 is Capricorn as well. But yeah, you've been waiting on something. It's, it's definitely giving acrimony. But the muse, you're finding inspiration in you. You have joy you have muse twice joyful muse inspiration you i'm getting you are the world's inspiration and the more you inspire the world the more the world is grace and generous with you um you also have no moon in taurus some of you have a moon in taurus or a moon in aquarius you don't have to but prosperity lies ahead in reverse what is what fell um for the shake up and show the world the real you once you really, really, I hear, embrace your full authenticity, you're going to shock the hell out of a lot of people. And the universe is assisting you in shocking the hell out of a lot of people. But you're going to put your, your, it's like the muse that you look up to, you now assume that role, the position. You have temperance, Sagittarius. You are heavily embodying your divine archetype. But there's financial struggle a struggle here on whether to keep a job, leave a job behind. With prosperity lies ahead. This is being fearful of, you know, investing in yourself, fearful of entrepreneurship and, you know, the results that you've seen thus far. But the high priestess, you have a high priestess, the moon, cancer. You could be also helping someone that's training you. I was talk, talking, yeah, backing up. Someone's returning justice. It could be a Libra or reflect back to someone. Something happened in Libra season or something. It's coming back around. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever this is, you're being asked to reject. Because Five of Pentacles, they're... They're wanting something from you. This is disingen disingenuous. Yeah, two of cups. For some of you, it's a lover. For some of you, it's a friend. For some of you, it's an old best friend, a sister. I don't know. But yeah, you're better off, you know, building on your own because they're gonna they're gonna leave you behind again. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna leave you behind again to go towards their wish fulfillment. This could be someone that consistently ghosts you. I don't know. Consistently bird comes, gaslights you, whatever the case may be. But you are someone's muse, Sagittarius, whether masculine or feminine, and you do offer a lot. You may feel like unworthy, but you are. Like you, this muse energy is you. And to clarify it, you came out with temperance. So the fool, what what do you want to take take charge with? Because luck is in your favor. I just felt a breeze. Um, clarify the Aquarius new moon for Sagittari Sagittarius, please. Aquarius new moon. Your dreams need a practical plan. Um, clarify the Virgo full moon for Sag placements. Expect powerful change. Oh, the shakeup is... Yo, this Virgo full moon is going to be the Leo full moon times two. 
Why? Because it is the only human sign and humans have very strong attachments to unhealthy people, places, and things. So thou and spirituality, ooh. full moon in Pisces, thou and spirituality and practicality in reverse, expect powerful change. The shakeup is happening around the Virgo full moon. So you need to plan now. You need to, if you haven't started planning, you need to plan now. I hear escape. Yeah, nine of swords. And I hear you need to keep your plans on the down low. R. Kelly, nobody has to know. You should watch the Capricorn reading when I upload them. Queen of Pentacles. So you need to keep your money moves silent as well. There's a need to... Yeah, your plan, your dreams need a practical plan. I hear uh, snowball affect it. Snowball affect your dreams. Um, With this Virgo full moon. Yeah, you're detaching from something. This Virgo full moon is change. You're finally letting go of something at the end of the month. Then I just say earlier decision will be made, finalized. Yeah, four of cups. You ask and it's being received. Now are you ready? Here are you packed? <laughs> mm hmm The lovers and the star. But as I mentioned earlier, someone's coming for you. Anything else regarding these moons? I need a neck massage. A new start is coming. Period. So, honey, the shakeups that are that have been happening, they ain't got shit on this this final one that's coming. God bless. All right, we have one more deck to close this out. Hold on. anything else some of you ladies you need to check your bra size because it's fucking up your back mm. you need to up your protection and stop believing everything that someone says i hear it's, it's time to start testing people's loyalty that's what i get it yeah it's definitely time to start testing people's loyalty if you haven't already lay of the land ancestral wisdom initiation it's time to test <laughs> testing testing one two three i'm getting a major shake up with a major revelation leads to a major shakeup via yeah, moon emotions. This is the 23rd and the Virgo full moon is on the 24th. You're about to see a side to someone and experience a side to someone that you never experienced before. And I don't like this. But I hear get the strap. But clouds distractions fell on my lap reversed. Any obstacles in your path, you are the muse to overcome them. Yes, yeah, something is unstable within the home life. Something is an obstacle within the home life. May 11th could be significant. That's actually my father's birthday. And chance, but there's fear here. Like you have the green light, there's fear. You have the green light, divine guidance. 33, it's safe to move forward. Yeah, and once you move forward, abundance awaits you. End it there. Final message for Sagittarius. Peace and harmony wants to come towards you. Some of you could have a birthday. You could have Sagittarius in the 12th house or your birthday could be in December. But something within the home is energetically leeching off of you. And you need to protect and remove yourself. You have eight weeks. Look what's on the bottom. 
okay now we can end king of swords i love you god bless you like comment subscribe share